Chad says, any thoughts on switching to a free coaster? Chad, my biggest thing, I don't personally love free coasters because they have slack. And what I mean by that is when you're riding your bike right now with the cassette, um, here, let me go here, make sure you guys can see me. When you're riding your bike with the cassette and you pedal, like that tire instantly starts moving. See how it's instantly moving? That's cool, I like that. Now what happens with a, uh, a free coaster is when you pedal, it goes about half a crank or depending on how much you adjust it, of slack. So there's nothing happening from here until you get to that point and then the wheel's gonna spin. And that's, to me, that's really aggravating um, because it's not in the back of my mind. So if I pedal really hard, I hit my knee because I think there's there's no slack when there is slack. Um, so I really urge people to get a free coaster but keep their cassette, throw the free coaster on, ride it around, see what you love about it, see what you hate about it, and then decide if you wanna ride that full time or not. Um, I have a free coaster I need to build up and what I would do with that ultimately is just switch between it. Like if I feel like riding a free coaster, boom, throw the free coaster on. If I feel like riding the cassette, boom, throw the cassette on. And, um, and then just switch back and forth. That's really my best recommendation on it because they're, uh, they're different and you need to get used to them first. They're gonna make some tricks easier, but they're also gonna make some tricks a lot harder.